A crime fueled by hate in a sacred place. Tonight, federal prosecutors plan to seek the death penalty against the man accused of killing 11 people at a Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania synagogue. People here in Nashville came together tonight to honor those 11 people. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon takes us inside the emotional memorial service. There was an overflow crowd here at the temple as people of all faiths came together to show their support and to begin healing. Tonight we gather in the synagogue to mourn and remember the fallen, to console and comfort one another. In the spirit of unity, Nashvillians filled the sanctuary at the temple to mourn and reflect on the deadly shooting at a Pittsburgh synagogue. No words can describe this horror and evil as Jews gathered to pray and celebrate Shabbat, were killed for no other reason other than the fact that they were Jewish. With the help of prayer and music, city leaders and people of all ages and races came to comfort the local Jewish community. The outpouring of love and support that came almost within minutes from our Muslim, Baha'i, Christian and Catholic colleagues and friends indeed softens the pain and reminds me that we are a very blessed and special community here in Nashville. The names of 11 people gunned down during Shabbat services at the Tree of Life Synagogue were read and candles were lit in their honor. Rabbis denounced the act of hate and called for peace. Today more than ever, we need to unite with love and continue to spread a message of tolerance and acceptance for all. A message many hope will continue to spread and future violence can be prevented. Tonight, we are all Jews. We must be the change that we want to see. Metro Police have increased security at synagogues across the city after the shooting and several officers were present at tonight's memorial. Reporting in Belmead, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5. Thanks, Emily. Hundreds also turned out this afternoon for a vigil at Vanderbilt University. There were readings and prayers from various faith leaders. Eleven candles were lit there to remember the victims. One rabbi we spoke with said the vigil was about supporting one another. We hear so much tragedy around and, and you wonder if people get dulled or insensitive to the tragedy. And it's good to see that human beings still have human hearts. Each person was asked to take 11 pennies and do a good deed with them to remember those killed.